You've done well, Altair. And I'm confident that this is but the first of many successes. Tamir spoke as if he knew you well. He implied my work had a larger meaning. Significance comes not from a single act, but the context within which it is performed. The consequences born of it. Then is there more I need to know? Altair, your greatest failure was born of knowing too much. If I choose to withhold information, it is only to ensure you do not make the same mistake a second time. I see. No, you don't. And it will remain this way until you've learned your lesson. Still, you have performed competently. And as such, I restore a rank and will return a piece of your equipment. Go now, either to Akka or Jerusalem. There are men in both cities who require your attention. The Bureau leaders can tell you more about what needs to be done. Hey guys, it's Harry and welcome back to more Assassin's Creed. Uh, thank you for being patient with this LP because I know it's going ridiculously slowly, but hey, exams are important. Anyways, last time we did something. What was it? We stopped Tamir. Is it Tamir? Yeah, I think he was the first target that we had to kill. And now we've gone back and now we got a rank up because we killed him. And now we could do more stuff. Which we'll learn about what to do now. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Okay, now this is a very useful skill to learn. Counter-attack. I actually love this move so much because... Basically, it breaks the system of actually fighting, so it makes everything a lot easier. Basically, you hold R1 and then when you're about to be hit, you press square to counter. It doesn't kill them all the time because depending on what level of fighter you're against, so if you're against like an elite guard, at most, or at times, it'll probably just hit them back, like in this way. But against small guards, it's like instant kill. It's actually beautiful. So now we get a choice. We can either go to Akka, or we can go to Jerusalem. I understand. Such wild because we can choose between the two areas to find our second and third uh, target. But I'm going to choose Jerusalem just because I believe that the order kind of wants... Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but I think it... Because I can't exactly remember. But I'm pretty sure that the order goes... Massi... Uh, no, not Massiaf. Um, Damascus, Jerusalem, Massiaf. Damascus, Jerusalem, Massiaf. And then do that again. So you can do it either way, but you don't have to follow the story, but it's just easier to do it this way. And plus I prefer Damascus at this point. No, Jerusalem, I mean. Because I think this is actually quite a good mission, based on the surroundings that you're faced against. So you, you're not forced to go to either one, you can go to, you can go to either. It's actually quite nice. And do I have any stories to tell you guys? Because this may be a slightly long journey. Okay, if you're wondering what what was going on, unless you've watched the other videos and seen my comments, basically I've had about 13 exams for all of my GCSEs, which are basically qualifications. And I've pretty much done them all. At this point, I still have one left, and that's about history. Well, unfortunately, it's not about Syria or the Third Crusade. It's about USA, so civil rights, so you know, black rights and stuff like that. Anyways, so I've basically done 12 of those. I've got one left, but by the time this is up, I'm probably finished with it. Maybe upload it the day before my last exam, which is on the 19th. So, so yeah, now I've got that. That's the reason why I've been so slow with everything. You reduce your chances of attracting unwanted attention. So, now that in the summer, because I have more time to actually film because luckily with my year because we have all the exams and stuff and with my school we have study leave so we don't actually so we don't have to spend all our time at school but we're off compulsory education now we only have the exams so as soon as we as soon as i've done my last exam i'm free for it like from school for ages i think i finish a month or yeah i finish a month earlier than all the other people at school so Oh, that's going to be so 
that's going to be so enjoyable because I get so much more time to record. And I plan to do more projects, it's just I want to get this rolling first. Keep the momentum because I know that as soon as I try to start something else, this is going to stop and I might end up failing trying to do it and ugh. I don't want to redo this. I keep doing it, it's stupid. So, yeah. Uh, what can I notice about... Well, because this area is kind of boring, I actually get a chance to tell stories and stuff, but I just can't think of any stories. Ooh, something that actually might slow down my progress. Um, with... Well, in a few weeks, I'm going to Miami. So, in progress may slow down, because... You know, it's kind of hard to upload in a foreign country. What do I have done it before? Well, barely. Or I try to. Because luckily my dad's let me bring my laptop and stuff like that, so it'll be great. Uh, what else to note? Uh, I might... Yeah. I think what I'm going to do is that with other projects, if I plan to do any, I'm going to be using some footage of LPs that I've already finished. Or by LPs, I mean... I. I've done a whole walkthrough of the game, which I've done on, I remember it was like, actually it's over a year ago that I did these projects as well. Like, the footage is like a year old, but I'm just going to add post commentary, and it's going to be hopefully quite fun. I know one of them is a short game. Oh, and that's a Templar. That's a bad idea. Oh. So yeah, luckily in the future, as soon as you finish your third target thing, you get to skip all this stuff. Which is great, because it's quite dull. I'm trying to think if there's anything to tell you guys. Um, I should probably skip all this, because it's quite dull. Um, screw it, yeah, I'm going to cut. So, I'll see you guys later. Okay, now I'm back, now you can see why I am on the map. And I'm running at the moment, because I'm in a chase. Uh, I still can't think of anything to tell you guys, which is quite bad. Because I can't think of anything school related because not much has happened. Uh, what, can, what can I say? Uh, yeah, because I'm in the summer, I should be doing a lot more stuff. So, yeah, I have kind of a few ideas of what I can do. Uh, honestly, my mind's just gone blank. I'm just here giving updates because that's all I plan to do, really. I guess I could say stuff about Assassin's Creed or well, with. Actually, I can't remember anything about Assassin's Creed. <laughs> I'm such a bad commentator. <laughs> when the Animus shows you are being watched by an informed guard, you should blend immediately. Even the slightest disturbance will attract his attention. I should have really cut this stuff out. But anyways, we have finally arrived in Jerusalem. As long as I... I, I think it's Jerusalem. I don't want this whole episode about me going on about going to Jeru um, Jerusalem and it's like, no, it's Akka, so. But everything is really green. It's like we're looking through Hulk vision. That's, very, that's actually really cool. Oh, I'd actually love to go to like a Middle Eastern country like, like Yemen or Saudi Arabia or something like that. But I know that if I go, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna do something wrong. <laughs> it's not, I'm not saying I'm offensive, I'm just saying I keep doing stupid things. Well, why I consider stupid? Because I'm a really, like, weird person, in a way. And there's some guys pushing this guy back. Seriously, so these are actually quite pathetic, these soldiers. Alright, I've already killed like over half now, without them even realising I've killed nearly half of them. And that's the counter. Well, that's one of the counters. Because this actually really finds this counter. Although I love it when you kill someone and then you just hit, you just feel the face and you just slap them in the face. I hope so. Still, best not to take any chances. I'll hurry home. Don't think I'll leave it again anytime soon either. You've done me a kindness, young man. Be assured, I won't yes, forget it. Others. And by doing that, we have unlocked the scholars, which mean, yeah, I think the scholars, or the prayer people. Yeah, I think the scholars. Yeah, scholars. 
we can hide in there and they won't see us. Also to throw out, I'm not going to be doing the citizens thing but on screen because essentially it's like that. But what you have to do for that is around like each district there's like 12 people you have to save and that's like a really easy way to like um, increase synchronization so I'll probably be doing them like off screen when, when I'm done with it, everything because although my version is weird because I'm doing it on the double pack for um, like Ubisoft double pack which is what has Assassin's Creed 1 and 2 um, I don't get um, achievements or trophies or anything like that what the hell is this guy doing? Um, anyways I should probably kill this guy. Talal understands your pain. What you lack, you come no further. Oh, oh he's away. So yeah, I don't get achievements. But from what I played of the Xbox version, because remember I used to have it, but then I sold it. Um, you get an achievement where it's like, it's like hundred percent synchronization or something like that. Where basically, if you, if you fully, if you um, fully synchronized. What you get an achievement. But their achievements are boring. Oh, I know something future. I can talk about. E3. Uh, from what I've seen about it, I haven't seen that much of the Nintendo ones recently. But from what I've seen about the Xbox One and PS4, I'm so glad I moved to Sony. <laughs> oh, the Xbox One looks so bad. Doing everything wrong. And you don't really need to see all the viewpoint things but I guess I could talk about E3 or well, what I know about it so yeah that's all the locations it's not that hard to climb um, yeah so everything I know about it Xbox One is doing everything wrong because it invades piracy and stuff like that it's very expensive which is normally which is actually quite interesting how it's changed it's basically doing everything that the PS3 did wrong at launch Except for it does everything stupidly. And I think my chin just hit the mic. I'm gonna move it. Yeah. It's doing everything wrong. It invades piracy. You need the internet. So if your internet like messes up for a day, then it just becomes a break. Uh ridiculously expensive. Although if they have done anything right, they have a good um li uh, lineup of games. Oh that's it. Lack of backwards compatibility. Because Leave. normally with games and Leave stuff, now. or game consoles, most of the time they're always backwards compatible unless they have like a large library of games at release. You must not trespass here. But even then it's quite, it's quite stupid. Wait, that guy just completely ignored that. Yeah, because that was the thing, like GameCube had kind of a problem in a way, because um, you couldn't play in the Nintendo 64 games. But the Wii and Wii U, although they were kind of criticised, you can still play the previous game ports and stuff. But I haven't got the Wii U yet. Like, I plan to, but I'm still getting stuff for like personal things. So, yeah, Xbox One is doing everything wrong. PS4 actually looks good. And I like how their whole advertisement at E3 was, we're doing the opposite of, of Microsoft. Which is genius. Uh, Nintendo, from what I've seen, um, new Smash Bros. That looks good. But they actually, look, they played it safe, really. So, what else was that? I remember what, actually when I was talking to one of my friends today, like before one of the exams. Um, he did say that apparently there's something going on between Valve and Apple where there's a chance they may release console. Which I think would actually work really well. Because I like most of the Valve games. You are not allowed I won't say which ones I like and dislike because I don't want a massive argument. <laughs> or cause controversy. Actually, screw it. If it gets me more comments then yeah, why not. Alright, I like Portal. I kind of like Team, uh, Team Fortress 2, haven't played that much of it. I don't really like Half-Life 2, in a way. Haven't played Half-Life 1. Yeah, that's basically it. Oh, Left 4 Dead. I like them. I Actually, I might try to do that for Christmas, uh, not Christmas, Halloween. 
I love the Philippines. That's the thing I like about this game. The viewpoints actually look really epic. And oh my god, it's gonna go wrong. Oh, actually, still kind of stupid. <laughs> like the viewpoints, everything seems epic. It's it's built up to such an extent that you just find it um incredible. Um, Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood and all that, they did it all right. All right how did that survive? You can apologize for that. So yeah, that's basically yeah. Assassin's Creed 1 to Brotherhood, um, to Brotherhood did it all right. So actually, in a way, well, Revelations was all right. Well, basically, this one did it better, but then Assassin's Creed 2 that was good. Brotherhood it got kind of less epic. Bro uh, Revolu uh, Revelations was the same as Brotherhood. In Assassin's Creed 3, it was just kind of like, yeah. But I think it's because there was less viewpoints. Uh, and I guess because the viewpoints were all the same. On top of like a charge or something. Uh, but I want to talk about future games because I plan to AP them. Oh, Assassin's Creed 4, that looks so good. Just, just remember that. That and the new Arkham game. Is it Arkham Origins? Arkham Universe? Arkham... I don't know. Arkham World? That new Batman game. That looks decent. I, I can't believe I can't remember the name. Yeah, I find this viewpoint really weird. <laughs> Actually, I should, I should think about whether I should talk over viewpoints or stuff more. I'm tempted to talk over them, but yeah. But actually, I'm out of stuff to say, so I think I'll just speed up the rest of this. So, see you guys in a bit. You know, I would do one more, but I just want to get this video finished. Like, I can't believe I actually forget to get the last viewpoint, but then again, I can't find it anywhere. Like, I know it's on the map, but I'm just, I'm just lazy. <laughs> but again, to the Assassin's Bureau, talk to the head of the Bureau. Then he assigns us stuff, and then we'll see, um, then I'll be seeing you guys next time. Did that guy just... What? Right, if you didn't know, there were some soldiers chasing me, and then off to the side, that guy just fell. Which is actually hilarious. So, that's all the time for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the LP coming back, so I'll see you guys next Safety time. And peace, Malik. Your presence here deprives me of both. What do you want? Al Muellem has asked. Ask that you perform some menial task in an effort to redeem yourself. So be out with it. Tell me what you can about the one they call Talal. It is your duty to locate and assassinate the man, Altair, not mine. You'd do well to assist me. His death benefits the entire land. Do you deny his death benefits you as well? Such things do not concern you. Your actions very much concern me. Then don't help me. I'll find him myself. <sighs> wait, wait. It won't do having you stumble about the city like a blind man. Better you know where to begin your search. I'm listening. I can think of three places, south of here in the markets that line the border between the Muslim and Jewish districts. To the north near the mosque of this district, and east in front of St. Anne's Church, close to the Babariha Gate. Is that everything? It's enough to get you started, and more than you deserve. 